here's the thing. Um, tomorrow night, Jeff and Bob and I are going to a party in Montecito, which is south of Santa Barbara. And um, it's at a place called San Ysidro Ranch, which is a really beautiful place. Um, a friend of mine is having her birthday party. And um, so there's a dress code. And the dress code says uh, cocktail attire, which not a problem. I have black dresses, little black dresses, um, at least one that seems like it'll work. And, um, but then it says, um, whimsy encouraged. And I think that's delightful. I'm just not whimsical. I do not think of myself as whimsical. Um, do you hear the plane? I'm in the back porch. I'm trying something new because um, it sounds like that plane is actually landing in the alley right behind me, but it isn't, I hope. Um, but my son Bob is home from school today. My husband is working from home, so I'm basically surrounded. And um, so I'm just doing this for the neighbors. Anyway, um, so cocktail attire, whimsy, whimsy encouraged. Um, so uh, that, that scared me a little um, because I, I don't want to be inappropriate and not go with the autumn theme, but also I'm whimsy challenged as I pointed out. So. The first thing I thought of after number one, I'm totally screwed, is number two, um, I'm gonna have to go on Etsy where people make things. And um, I went on Etsy and I, what I was looking for, my idea, was a fascinator. Now a fascinator, um, if you're not familiar, is like a little hat, usually you wear it on the side, and it has feathers and things and stuff, pearls, jewels hanging off of it, and it's something a lady would wear to, a lady would wear to um, the royal wedding, or Ascot, or um, the Kentucky Derby, so, I thought maybe it's something in that nature. And I was looking for something autumnal. So I actually put into the Etsy search bar, autumnal fascinator. And Jesus, like there were a couple of pages, which to me was, um, I was gonna say fascinating, but um, I won't say that, fascinatoring. Um, it was interesting and uh, surprising. So um, I looked at those and then realized that I'm not so bold. So, um, so then I just decided to go for headband. Now, I found a headband that was autumnal after putting in autumnal headband. And um, I had to order it from England on a rush. Now, honestly, I could have made this thing by going to Joann's and using some hot glue, but I'm also hot glue challenged, so that seemed like a terrible idea. Um, but if I was really trying hard, I maybe could have done something. Anyway, I didn't do it. I ordered the thing online on Etsy, and um, so as I was waiting for it to come in the mail, um, I started thinking more about headbands, and I don't wear headbands as a general rule. Um, I think of headbands as like you pull your hair back really tight, and just to prove how old I am, what they make me think of is that character from Greece, Patty Simcox, 
who always had her hair pulled back in a really high ponytail or something updo, but pulled back really tight. Um, and if I wanted to prove that, it, that I live in 2019, I might say Ariana Grande. She does that, which is beautiful, but I am no Ariana Grande. I'm not even Patty Simcox. So um, I was a little nervous about wearing my headband. So it came and um, I enlisted the help of my friend Rebecca who um, is a genius with hair and all things hair, and um, sent her some pitiful looking selfies of me trying it in different ways. And um, so she, at her suggestion, I, I think we figured out something. And um, so just before you say anything, this is not a joke, I'm actually wearing this tomorrow night. So um, if you think it's really dumb, just keep it to yourself because it's it's happening it's totally happening it's autumnal you can't say it's not whimsical so I'll be ready that's it um, the other thing I have to get ready for is uh, the weather might be a little cool. Part of the party is outside, and um, I need a wrap, and I do not have a wrap. And I was thinking, how cool would it be to have an autumnal wrap, like a pair of monarch butterfly wings? But that I could definitely not pull off. If this makes me feel vulnerable, I would certainly feel vulnerable trying to get out of the car with some you know, at the ballet with butterfly wings on. But um, I used to have so many nice wraps. Um, I had gowns and wraps in the 90s because um, I used to go to events and things that required glamming it up. Um, I don't, that's not my life now. I don't have those anymore. I, after the great uh, Pashmina purge of 2008, I no longer have wraps so that's something I have to work, work on um, I may end up in a cardigan we'll see maybe maybe a jacket I don't know um, anyway so if if you think this is silly which I kind of do but I'm committed um, just save it uh, to tell me until Sunday um, because I'm wearing it tomorrow night. It's happening. So, um, thank you for taking this, uh, journey with me. Um, and for watching my video. Please like. Like. <laughs> Forgot how to do that. Anyway, like. Press the like. Comment. Subscribe. Um press the little bell to get notifications when there are new videos so that you don't miss um, you don't miss one moment of uh, my fascinating life. <laughs>